Welcome to the top shelf of my Criterion DVD review series. This is episode 25. Thank you for joining me. My name is Ernest M. Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Arapaho filmmaker, artist, writer, media educator. And we're taking a look at my top shelf of my Criterion collection. Uh, well, uh, select one at random, uh, do a short synopsis, quick look at the discs or the extras, if any. Um, give you a short review if I've seen it, and uh, a reason why I purchased it. And if you're interested in longer reviews, just let me know in the comments. And um, so let's get started. Orson Welles, F for Fake. Uh, this is his last completed film before his death. It's a sort of essay film on um, lies, basically. That's the overall theme. Um, and he talks about some uh, foragers, Elmer Dehori and Clifford Irving, who produced uh, separate uh, forgeries on their own. And it's a very good critique of the arts world uh, about experts and expertise. Um, and Wells goes into a little bit about his own hoax uh, with War of the Worlds and it culminates in a great sequence at the end. Um, probably my f most favorite Orson Welles films and yes this uh, ranks above Citizen Kane you know, although I love Citizen Kane. Um, so let's break out the glasses. Oops. I always have a backup here. Uh, this is from 1972. It's 88 minutes. It has two discs. Now the, the first disc one has the film, which has a high definition transfer, audio commentary by star and co-writer Oya Kodar and director of photography Gary Graver. Introduction by Peter Bogdanovich, who was his, sort of his mentor. And the extended nine minute trailer that uh, Wells produced, which doesn't contain any footage that's in the film. Um, disc two, the supplements is also, this is why uh, I really enjoy this disc as well. It includes Orson Welles' One Man Band from 1995 and 88 Minute, documenting all of um, his unfinished uh, projects, which included um, uh, Other Side of the Wind, which was recently completed. Um, and then there's a documentary about the art forger Elmer Dorey. Um, and a 60 Minutes interview with Clifford Irving in 2000, and a 1972 Howard Hughes press conference uh, that exposed uh, Clifford Irving's uh, hoax. Very interesting stuff. This really informed me about the arts world, um, why I don't take it as seriously as many people do. But it also in influenced a lot of my perceptions and uh, opinions on uh, Native American art, especially when in regards to expertise and authority versus experience and uh, something that I call the authorship of expertise about taking, you know, Native American voice and having authority over it um, and how a lot of uh, Native artists are actually selling that authority off. Um, if you want a video on that, I'll, I'll do a video on that. But my or favorite Orson Welles film I recommend you, you get it. I'm going to get the Blu-ray pretty soon, uh, mainly because I absolutely love this film. It's influenced my, me a lot in a lot of ways. Um, spy number 288. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.